Hello everybody, this is Excel Works and I'm Rajan Pradeep. Today we'll see how to copy data from cells that are appearing above these blank cells where you want to copy it. It's really simple when you have uh, very small data. Say for example, I have some characters here and then I want to copy it down to uh, the cell which is blank. So what I do is first to come there, I put an equal sign, I use the up arrow once to go to that cell. So now you see the dancing ads around it, which means that cell has been selected. And once I hit enter, that data will be copied down to my cell. This is very easy. But the problem is when you have a data set like this, I hope my screen is big enough for you to see. I'll slightly enlarge it. All right, so when I have information like this, this has come out from a factory where this is uh, the movement history of some inventory. <coughs> Excuse me. So that is the item, and the item's quantity is that on that particular date with that cost. Next, moving on, that item moved in those quantities, in those dates, with those prices. And the list is pretty long. So the problem here is these blank cells appearing below the heading. We might require this data for further analysis, for reporting and for further calculations and everything. And this wouldn't work if these cells are blank. These cells, as you might know, pertain to this particular inventory item and that is sitting as some kind of a heading there and uh, we cannot do any calculations especially if you're use, using uh, tools like pivot tables and everything. Uh, so it is necessary to pull the same data down to all these cells here. If it's like that, then it will become pretty easy. But if your uh, worksheet is long, your data is, uh, is large, uh, it is not easy to go to each one of those headings and start doing that. Uh, so there is a small trick which I will uh, introduce to you today uh, to fill everything uh, down to the blank cells in one shot. So which means this heading will go down and sit in all those cells there. This heading will go on sit on all those cells there and for the whole workbook it will be the same. So how do we do it? First we come to the first cell where the first heading is seated. Once it is there we drag it down to the very last cell where you want your heading to be dragged down to. In my case the last cell is A70 here. So I have uh, drawn down and highlighted from A6 down all the way to A7 where I want my headings. Once I have done that, I go to the home tab and right at the far extreme, I can see under editing, I can see find and select. I click on find and select. And the fourth item appearing under find and select the drop down is go to special. I click on go to special and it opens up this dialog box. So go to special gives you plenty of options as you can see here uh, to go to cells with those uh, conditions and here we have to go to blank cells blank and blank cells appears here. Click on blank cells and click OK. So 
So now see what happens here is that Excel has gone to every single blank cell in that selection of mine. So right up to A70 it has gone from the top. But now the currently active cell for me is the one just below my first heading and it is A7. A7 is a currently active cell for me. All the same, the blanks are being picked and selected and kept ready for me by Excel. So while I am at A7, which is the first blank cell for me, I type equals. I type the equal sign and I go and select the the heading just above it using my up arrow key. I select it just like in the first example, the small example I showed you, where I had to copy from one cell down. I went down there. I clicked the equal sign. I selected the cell above it and I was clicking enter. But hold on. Here, I'm not going to click the enter straight away. What am I going to do here? I am going to, while that heading is selected, I am going to hold my control key down. I'm going to press and hold my control key down. And while I did that, I've clicked the enter sign. I'm going to click the enter sign. And watch what happens down here. I've, I've held my control key down and I'm pressing enter. That's magic, isn't it? Every single one has now copied from the one above all the way down through my whole selection. But that is a magic Excel does for you. Uh, so once again, I will run through it for you. So nothing is selected now. It is all the same as it was. This is, the, this is the way I received it from my uh, maintenance department, from my from my stores department. So uh, I start from the first cell where I have uh, the the heading, drag it all the way down to A17 in my case, which is the last uh, cell where I want it to be filled down to. Now while there, while it has been highlighted, I go down under Home to the editing, the last uh, button that is available, which is Find and Select, click on Find and Select, the fourth item down there. Go to Special, click on Go to Special, and then come and pick Blanks from this dialog box. Click on Blanks, click OK, and now it's selected all the blank cells for me as you can see. So, and it gives me A7 as the, as the uh, active cell. So while on the active cell, I just type in equals, click on the up arrow key so that that heading is selected, hold down my control key and hit enter. So there, it is filled everything down for you, saving you tons of time, isn't it? So now let us get into the nuts and bolts of this uh, nuts and bolts appearing here as items anyway so <laughs> that prompted me to use the same uh, uh, usage so let us get down to this let's break this down how it happens so uh, what happens is when you select I'm, I'm, I'm uh, going back one step so what happens uh, when you select blanks is it obviously select the blanks for you from the selected range, right? And then you're typing the equals, right? And if I had selected the up arrow key and then hit enter once, just that cell was going to fill from above. Only that cell was going to fill from above if I had hit enter, right? Let us see that facing, okay? And it jumps down to the cell down and it doesn't fill anything down. But control enter is what does the trick for me. When I hit Control Enter, that particular command is telling my worksheet, my Excel worksheet, to go to each one of the blank ones because they're selected already, and then copy it down from the cell above. It's basically telling all the blank cells to go and look up and then copy it down, right? 
that is how the uh, how, how the nuts and bolts in this particular command is. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, there are plenty more of good videos coming through. Uh, and also please remember to hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications of new videos when I post them. Thank you and have a good day.